Hello, this is Daniel from Trusted Tutorials and today we're gonna have a look at how to unsort in Google Sheets. For this purpose, I'm using a list of names and addresses. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it so we can then unsort it and I'm going to show you two different ways how you can achieve that. So the first thing is I'm clicking on a row and then I'm going to right click on this row to open up the menu. And here we have the sorting fun function here, sort sheet A to Z or Z to A. So the most sense uh, makes uh, A to Z. So that's why I'm clicking here because I want to have the first names starting with an A until Z. So I'm just clicking on that. And as you can see, it now uh, changes the whole sheet and it starts with the first name A, that contain A. All right, so the question is now, how can you unsort this uh, in Google Sheets? The easiest method is you just hit the back button. So the back button is this arrow here. I just click on it. And as you can see, we now have the state that we had initially. So I just go a step back and there is a variation of that. You can also use the um, keyboard shortcut and it shows it to you here. If you uh, hover over it, it's undo. Um, you can do it with command Z or control Z on a PC computer. I'm using a Mac computer. So uh, here it's command Z. Let me just show you how this is working. Now I'm hitting the um, buttons command and then Z and it goes back to the initial state. This is perfect, a great and quick solution, but it also has its uh, disadvantages. Because whenever you go steps back, you might also change things that um, you have already changed and you don't want to revert. Also, a disadvantage is that uh, it only works in the same session. So if you now uh, save and close the document and you open it up again, you cannot go back with the uh, arrow button and um, it just doesn't work. So there might be better ways and there is a better way to do that. You can also use an index uh, column. I'm going to show you how you can create an index column that will always help you to go back to the initial state. So for this purpose, I'm just marking column A. I right click on column A and then the menu opens up and here I'm going to add one column to the left. So I click on insert one column left. Now we have a, a column that where here we can add our index column now. So I'm just going to name it index. So basically the index is just um, sorting everything from one to as many um, columns there are, uh, as many rows there are. So I'm just starting to type one, two, three, but I don't have to type it all the time. After it, I mark the cells and then I double click here on the square button, on the blue square button right here. Just double click and it's um, filling all the um, cells with numbers so it's numbering all the um, all the rows now that's perfect so we already have an index column now and um, let's suppose again i want to sort this by uh, first name i click on the column again i go on sort sheet a to z and as you can see what happens is the index now shows all kinds uh, of numbers um, not arranged and not sorted. And now, uh, of course, because we have the index, um, we have the index column. I can only, I can always use that to sort this sheet again. So what I'm doing now is I just click on the index column and. I go on right click again and I can always use the sort sheet A to Z. So I'm just doing that. I'm clicking on it. And as you can see, now it's sorted again because the index is going uh, from one to two to three to four. Uh, as you can see, it's sorted and it's also in its initial state, the whole file, because you see it starts with Edgar again. So this is a really handy way 
if you are not in the same session to just use an index column to go back um, to unsort in Google Sheets. Perfect. Well, um, what is there else to say? Yeah, if you have a data set where you use, uh, let's suppose you're using timestamps. So the first entry has a timestamp, then the next entry has a timestamp and you can use this um, you can use this column as well, of course, for sorting because it uh, will always go back to this order if you um, sort it from A to Z. Then certainly you can also use that. That would be an alternative option, but for this you would need to have a column like that. Perfect. This is how to unsort in Google Sheets. I really hope this was helpful. If so, please give this uh, video a like, follow our channel, and also hit the notification bell so you're always notified when new helpful tutorials come out. This was Daniel from Trusted Tutorials. I'll see you again soon and goodbye.